Let me just give you an example of something that was already sort of, you know, of interest to Gramercy before all of this happened, and that's Argentina. Obviously, the president came out and said that they would be coming up with a proposal in the coming days on the debt restructuring. Is it realistic that something like that happens in the next month, given all of the problems surrounding the coronavirus? And, and I ask you because you're, you're a creditor. Yeah, I, I absolutely think it's, it's possible. Um, I think that, you know, ultimately what, what Argentina and other sovereigns are going to need are, are time. And I do believe that the, that the market, even prior to the coronavirus crisis, uh, had signaled that it was willing to give um, our Argentina time and take a, a patient capital approach. So I, you know, I think what Argentina and others need is, is cash flow relief in, in, in the short run, a, a window to recover. That's the most important that they can uh, recover and get towards growth and inclusive growth and sustainable growth. Uh, but that doesn't mean that a debt restructuring can't occur. And I, I believe that the, uh, uh, the market in Argentina can find a solution and that uh, it need not be a zero-sum game to find a solution. But would creditors agree to a temporary standstill, even if it was until 2024? Why would they do that, Rob? Why would you do that? Well, I mean, I, I like to think about what a standstill achieves as opposed to a standstill as a, as a negotiating position. And what I mean by that is a, is a standstill is a cessation of cash flow that would leave, the, uh, that would leave Argentina in this case. And I think that you can structure a debt restructuring, a comprehensive debt restructuring, that includes you know, light, you know, zero cash flow and then lighter cash flow is kind of step what we call a FLIRB bond, a front-loaded interest reduction bond, so that what you would achieve in a standstill would be um, low and no cash flow in the short period and then to build up as Argentina builds up its capacity. To me, that's a much more intelligent approach than taking the risk of a standstill because, one, there's huge implementation risk in a standstill, being able to you know, have to convince all bondholders in various jurisdictions uh, to accept that. And at the end of the day, if you can achieve a debt restructuring that gives you a standstill, gives you the benefits of a standstill up front, but then it gives you a comprehensive restructuring attached to that, isn't that a much better way to go?